This YCN special is brought to you by Baba's Bar and Grill. Baba's has all your favorites and much more. Bell Tate's Building Product Specialist. No matter the projects, their experts will get you the material you need. Kearsarge Heating and HR Club, your local energy specialist, much more than a home heating oil provider. Congratulations, ladies. Hey, welcome to this special championship edition episode of YCM Sports Wrap. I'm your host, Andrew Zerhide. Thanks for tuning in. This week we'll just be focusing on this year's Kearsarge girls lacrosse team as the Cougars made it all the way to the NHIAA Division III state final for the second straight year. Let's begin the show by taking a look at the Cougars regular season. Kearsarge began the year on the wrong foot when they lost to a very strong team from Bo back on April 10th. The Cougars hope to rebound against a weaker squad from Belmont in their second contest of the season. So this is where we'll check out some of the action between the winless teams of Kearsarge and Belmont. Last season, the Kearsarge girls lacrosse team finished as the Division III runner-up, coming just short of a championship by losing a heartbreaker to Laconia during the final few seconds of the D3 Finals. But the Cougars are expected to be a top team once again in 2017, with a solid seven returning starters. This game was played on Colby Sawyer College's Sally Shaw Vetch Turf Field, with Kearsarge considered the home team. Things got started after senior captain Macy Hansen worked with junior captain Leslie Angus to win the opening faceoff. Belmont's goalie Keegan Barry at first played stingy defense, turning away multiple shots from Keir Sarge's Emily Webster and Allie Wilson. But less than a minute later, junior attackman Jackie DeAngelis scooped and scored the first goal of the afternoon. On the following faceoff, Macy Hansen again gained possession. Kearsarge would give the ball to a driving Webster and she easily scored, putting the Cougars up by two not even four minutes into the contest. After a few minutes of back and forth play, it was again DeAngelis as she made a nice cut from behind the net scoring Kearsarge's third goal. The Cougars played some solid defense which took pressure off of star goalie senior captain Anya Nowicki, but she was there to make stops when needed. Angus was then able to score her first goal of the day, Kearsarge's fourth, and sophomore Bree Von Baron ran around to the front of Belmont's goal to put in another score, giving the Cougars a 5-0 advantage. By the end of the first period, Kearsarge had scored a whopping 10 goals, putting the game way out of reach for the Red Raiders. By the end of the game, the Cougars had put up 15 goals, while Anya Nowicki and her team's defense recorded a shutout win. Leslie Angus led Kearsarge with four goals, Bree Von Baron and Jackie DeAngelis each scored three, and Allie Wilson put in two. After the game, we caught up with captains Angus and Hansen to get their thoughts on the team's first win of the young season. You know, we started off a little sloppy, but we definitely like brought it together and started breaking a lot harder. I think the younger girls stepped in really well to like bring it home. I just think we have to stick together. Like we obviously won, but we would have liked to play a little more. Um, we started off the season with a rough loss to Bo, but I think today as a game progressed, we really improved ourselves and we worked on our plays. and. We kept pushing each other like on the clears and stuff. And we're, we're filling in a couple spots this year from some seniors who graduated and I think a couple people have really stepped up like um, Bree Von Barron, Allie Wilson, Jackie DeAngelis. I think they've done a great job on the attack side stepping up. And I think we're hoping the best for the season with the next couple games. Anya's, Anya's always on our side. Um, she's always had good games. She's always the best. Um, she talks well to us and I think she's one of our best strong suits. She definitely always has like good things to contribute to like what we need to work on better because she can see the whole field. So we really appreciate everything she does. Clearly the Cougars had no problem blowing past the Raiders as they secured their first win of the young season. We're going to take a quick commercial break, but when this special championship episode of YCN Sports Wrap returns, we'll be moving on to the middle of the Cougars season when they hosted Conval. We'll be right back. 